For this video, we're gonna be talking about the derivative of trigonometric function. So, simulan muna natin sa derivative ng sin x. So, the derivative of sin x is cosine x. For cosine x, the derivative is negative sin x. For tangent x, the derivative is secant squared x. For cotangent x, the derivative is negative cosecant squared x. For secant x, the derivative is secant x tangent x. For cosecant x, the derivative is negative cosecant x cotangent x. So dito notice na lahat ng nag start sa C, kagaya nung nasa kanan natin, so cosine, cotangent, and cosecant, lahat ng derivatives nila ay negative. Then, the derivatives of tangent and cotangent, here and here, ang derivatives nila ay squared. And for the derivatives of secant and cosecant, their derivatives start with itself. For secant, we have secant tan. For cosecant, we have cosecant cotangent. Now, let's have some problems to solve. Let's say we have the function of f of x is equal to 10 sin x minus 7 tangent x. So the first thing is we need to differentiate the two terms like this. Then distribute the differentiation symbol which is d over dx to each term. So for the first term, we're going to have 10 times the derivative of sin x. So ilalabas lang natin yung constant out of the differentiation symbol which is d over dx. For our second term, we have a minus 7 times the derivative of tangent x. Tapos simplify lang natin ito. For our first term, the derivative of sine is cosine. So for the first term, we have 10 times cosine x. For the second term, we have minus 7 times secant squared x. So, this is the derivative of tangent. Then, dahil wala na naman tayong pwedeng simplify, parehas naman positive, so multiply lang natin directly. Our answer here is, so f prime of x is equal to 10 cosine x minus 7 secant squared x. For our number 2 example, we have the function f of x is equal to 8 secant x minus 9 cosine x. So, kagaya lang nung ginawa natin dito sa number 1 natin, differentiate lang natin silang dalawa. So, for the first term, we are going to have 8 times the derivative of secant x minus sa ating second term is 9 times the derivative of cosine x. And the derivative of secant is secant squared tangent x minus 9 the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. Then simplify lang natin. For our first term, we are going to have 8 secant x tangent x. Then sa ating second term, negative times negative is positive. So we have plus 9 sine x. And this is the derivative of our given function. Let's answer our third example. We have f of x is equal to 3 cotangent x minus 7 cosecant x. So, differentiate lang natin silang dalwa. For our first term, we have 3 times the derivative of cotangent minus 7 times the derivative of cosecant x. The derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x, while the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Then, simplify lang natin ito. So, for our first term, we have negative 3 cosecant squared x. For our second term, we have positive 7 cosecant x cotangent x because negative times negative is positive. Or if you want, you can take out the GCF out from the two terms. So, yung GCF nilang dalawa is cosecant x. So, our final answer may also be Cosecant x times the quantity negative 3 cosecant x plus 7 cotangent x. So kahit alin dito sa dalawa ay accepted as our final answer. Let's proceed now to our fourth problem. So the function f of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 
plus 2 sin x minus 5 cosine x. So, differentiate lang natin ulit silang tatlo. So, each term, we're going to have 2 times the derivative of x raised to 4. For the second term, we have 2 times the derivative of sin x. For our third term, is minus 5 times the derivative of cosine x. So, in our first term, gamitin lang natin ang ating power rule. So, we have 2 times 4x cubed. So, sana natin nakuha yung 4x cubed. So, using the power rule, multiply lang natin yung exponent dun sa coefficient. Then, we subtract 1 from our exponent. So, nagkaroon tayo ng 4 minus 1 sa exponent, kaya cubed na lang ito. For our second term, the derivative of sine is cosine. For our third term, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, then simplify lang natin dito. For our first term, we will have 8x cubed. For our second term, we have 2 cosine x. And for our third term, we have positive 5 sine x. So this is the derivative of our given function. In our example number 5, we have the function f of x is equal to 3 cosecant x plus 9 tangent x minus 4 secant x. So, differentiate lang natin silang tatlong terms na nasa given natin. Then, distribute lang natin yung differentiation symbol which is d over dx sa lahat ng terms na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, for the first term, we're going to have 3 times the derivative of cosecant x. For our second term, plus 9 times the derivative of tangent x. For our third term, minus 4 times the derivative of secant x. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. And the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And simplify lang natin sila. Dun sa first term natin, we're going to have negative 3 cosecant x cotangent x. For our second term, so plus 9 secant squared x. And in our third term, 4 secant x tangent x. And this is our final answer to the given problem. This is the derivative. For our sixth example, we have f of x is equal to x squared sine x. So take note that we have two functions here, the x squared and sine x. So in this case, we are going to use the product rule. The product rule is this, the derivative of the product of u and v is equal to u v prime. v prime is the derivative of v plus v u prime. u prime naman is the derivative of our u. And to start our computation in finding the derivative of our given, let muna tayo ng mga values. Let u is equal to x squared. So ito yung u natin at ito yung v. So after getting u, let's find the u prime. u prime is the derivative of u. So if u is x squared, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Then let v is equal to sine. This is our v. And to find the v prime, we need to find the derivative of our sine, which is cosine. And after having all of these values, is a substitute natin sila dito sa ating formula. This is equal to x squared, yun yung u natin, times cosine x, yun yung v prime, plus sine x, yun yung v natin, times 2x, yun yung u prime natin. Then, simplify lang natin. For our first term, we have x squared cosine x. Pag pinag-multiply sila. Plus sine x times 2x. So, this is 2x sine x. And here, we can have this as our final answer. Or we can put out the GCF. The GCF here is x. So, in our answer, we can also have f prime of x is equal to x times the quantity x cosine x. So, nilabas lang natin yung isang x dito kasi yun yung GCF nilang dalawa. So, x times the quantity x cosine x. Tapos, in our second term, ang matitira na lang is 
2 sin x. Lumabas yung ating x. So, kahit alin dito sa dalawa, could be our answer to the problem. For our seventh example, f of x is equal to 2x cubed times cosine x. This is also the product of two functions, which are the 2x cubed, this is u, and cosine x, this is our v. So also, we're gonna be using the product rule formula. The derivative of the product of u and v is equal to uv prime plus vu prime. So let u ulit tayo. u is 2x cubed. Ito yung u natin. Then, after getting u, let's find the u prime or the derivative of u. Since u is 2x cubed, we're gonna be using the power rule here. And the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared. For our v, v is equal to cosine. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And after having all of these values, all we need to do is to substitute to our formula. To start with, we have 2x cubed. Yun yung u natin. 2x cubed times v prime, which is negative sine x. Plus v, v is cosine times u prime, u prime is 6x squared. Then simplify lang natin sila. For our first term, we have negative 2x cubed sine x. And for our second term, we have 6x squared cosine x. And dito kagaya nung nasa number 6 example natin, pwede tayo maglabas ng GCF, which is 2x squared. So, pag nalabas natin ang 2x squared dun sa dalawang terms, sa first term, ang matitira na lang sa kanya is negative x sin x. Lumabas yung 2 tsaka yung dalawang x natin. Kaya naiwan yung isang x sa loob katabi ng ating sin x. At sa ating second term, ang matitira na lang is 3 cosin x. So, kapag pinagmultiply natin, 2x squared times negative x is negative 2x cubed. And 2x squared times 3 is 6x squared. So, kahit alin dito sa dalawa could be our answer to our problem. Now, let's have our eighth example. This is f of x is equal to sine x over x squared. And as you can see, this is a quotient. So, we're gonna be using the quotient rule, which is the derivative of the quotient of u and v is equal to vu prime minus uv prime all over v squared. So, dito pwede din natin gamitin yung isa sa mga na-discuss natin sa mga previous video which is the low d high minus high d low over low low. So, if you want to know more about that formula, click mo lang yung link dun sa description box. So, umpisahan na natin yung computation in finding the derivative of sine x over x squared and given our formula. So, kailangan natin ng u, ng u prime, ng v, tsaka ng v prime. So, let u is equal to sine x. So, yung u natin ay yung nasa itas ng ating fraction. Then, u prime means the derivative of sine is cosine. Then, let v is equal to x squared. Yun naman yung nasa ibaba ng ating fraction. And v prime or the derivative of v, since v is x squared, v prime is equal to 2x. And after having all of this, substitute lang natin sila sa ating formula. We have f prime of x is equal to v. Ang v natin is x squared. Ayan. Times u prime. This is cosine x. Minus u which is sine. Ayan. Times v prime which is 2x. All over v squared. So, since v is equal to x squared, so in the denominator, we have the squared of x squared. And we just need to simplify our numerator and denominator. In the numerator, so x squared times cosine x is just x squared times cosine x. And here in our second term, sine x times 2x is 2x sine x. All over, so the square of x squared is x raised to 4. So, dito pwede natin siyang lowest term. So, kung ilalabas natin yung x dun sa dalawang terms sa numerator natin, we're going to have x times the quantity x cosine x minus 2 sine x. So, lumabas yung isang x dito sa first term natin, kaya x cosine x na lang siya. 
And sa second term natin, lumabas dito yung x, kaya 2 sin x na lang. So, nasa labas yung isang x. All over x to the fourth. And dito, pwede nating makancel yung isang x na lumabas, tsaka yung isang x dito. So, since apat naman ito, mababawasan lang siya ng isa. So, our final answer now is f prime of x is equal to x cosine x minus 2 sin x all over x cubed. For our ninth example, we have f of x is equal to sin x over 1 plus cosine x. Also, we need to use the quotient rule here. So, let muna tayo ng values. Let u is equal to sin x. Yun yung nasa taas natin. Then, the derivative of sin x is cosine x. Yun na yung u prime. And v is equal to 1 plus cosine x. Yun naman yung nasa denominator. And yung derivative natin sa v, so ang derivative ng 1 is 0 kasi constant. So the derivative of every constant is 0. Then the derivative of cosine is negative sign. Then substitute na natin itong mga ito sa ating formula. So we have f prime of x is equal to v. Ang v natin is 1 plus cosine x times u prime, ang u prime natin is cosine x minus u, ang u natin is sine x times v prime which is negative sine x all over v squared. Ang v natin is 1 plus cosine x. So we have quantity 1 plus cosine x squared. Simplify lang natin. In our numerator, dun sa first term muna, Distribute lang natin yung cosine x sa lahat ng terms. Dito sa dalawang terms na nakikita natin sa loob ng parenthesis. So, cosine x times 1 is cosine x. And cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x. Yan. Cosine x plus cosine squared x. Then, for our second term, so, sine x times sine x is sine squared x. And since it is negative times negative, so we have positive or plus sine squared x all over the quantity 1 plus cosine x squared. So dito mapapansin natin that we can use the Pythagorean identity. So in which part? Dito sa cosine squared x tsaka sine squared x. So in the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So, we can substitute 1 dito sa dalawang terms natin. So, now we have f prime of x is equal to cosine x plus 1. So, ito napalitan ng 1. All over the quantity 1 plus cosine x squared. And dito pwede nating makancel itong cosine x plus 1 tsaka isang 1 plus cosine x. So, same lang naman sila using the commutative property. So, pag kinancel natin ng isang cosine x plus 1, tsaka isang cosine x plus 1, ang matitira for our final answer is 1 in the numerator, and in the denominator, we have 1 plus cosine x. And this is the end of this video. So, if you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.